like, yeah, they they wear big Afro wigs and bell bottoms. Yeah, well, like, maybe they wore Afro wigs. <laughs> yeah. The Afro was cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> it was really hard to walk to the gig in those pants. <laughs> they got nasty. Oh, I know what happened. 9 11 so we had We had, like, flags on our pants and stuff. Yeah. And all of a sudden, everybody in his uncle had a flag on. Yeah, because we had the older backdrop of the flag. Right, and everyone had an afro, too. So we got rid of the afro wig. Playing with the likes of a still very new Elder McCrim and Swamp Witch Revival set Ogre on a path with other musicians that shared their taste in vintage heavy rock. They soon built up a small but dedicated following in the Portland area. Yeah, like, like finding out about them for the first time. You know, we were playing the 70s rock and stuff and stuff. And stuff and it's like nobody else was, was doing that at all here. Except those guys. Except those guys. Yeah. Well, we didn't and even then, know. Yeah, we like never heard of them. And then all of yeah. a sudden, it's like like those guys were we were listening to all the same shit that we were and like we were playing all the same music. My favorite when I fell in love with the Ogre, uh, remember I was at Gino's just drinking with my ex-wife. And this band was playing, and I was like, yeah, they're pretty good. And then they played um, Mystic Lady, the same fight as this band is killer. And that was it. You're pretty known for uh, requesting Mystic Lady at every Ogre show, actually. Yeah, because I wish they were St. Vitus, but as <laughs> close as we can get. I think it's the whole taking the vibe of that, the 70s stuff, but not sounding like a carbon copy of it. I mean, it doesn't sound like... Like some records sound like they were recorded at that time, and they got the vibe, they get the sound, and they got the, the feel, but there's the, like the songwriting isn't quite there. And, this is me at Ogre. <laughs> um, I love it all. You know, I'm always grinning. I'm always just digging it. My body's moving to it. I'm totally entranced, <laughs> you know. When Ogre plays a show, I wish that there were no opening bands and they were playing the whole show. I would put Ogre into the heavy metal rock and roll, real deal heavy metal rock and roll set. Ogre is my life. It's been my life since I think late 99. I think I've seen about um, maybe 130 shows. <laughs> I, I could tell you my fondest memory was when the, uh, the dudes from Swamp Witch uh, cut their gig short to be able to come see you dudes. And uh, was it Ed's? amp had blown and you guys weren't doing the last set and they made you stay and humped halfway across town to haul in their stuff so you could play the final set. That was pretty priceless. Who the hell are these guys? <laughs> they're awesome. But they don't miss a beat, you know, they're very very well put together, very organized, very very, very, very talented. Very talented musicians. First time I saw Ogre was at the Skinny. I have to admit I was genuinely intrigued by a main band called Ogre because Ogre's well, I think that's a word where you really got you really have to live up to something if you're gonna call yourself Ogre. You know, it's just one of those great words like troll, mutant, orc, uh, see ghoul, you know. But I was impressed by like the already by the like family and uh, the support that these people were already commanding and uh, and they they lived up to uh, they lived up to the name ogre first time Perry took me to see ogre at Gino I was like I didn't know what to expect I didn't know what I was in for and I was laid to wait destroyed hopefully forever the first Ogre recollections would have to be uh, down in the basement of Gino's um, amidst the, the shadows and the foul, stale beer smell. For me, it was the first show we did with Ogre. We did um, with the Outsiders. Oh, yeah. uh, Kings, 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 Kings of the Underground at the Ale House. And that was a huge show for me because I asked Ogre to play with our little band because it, it was my strategy to coattail ride 
and it worked, and they played with us. And then the first time I saw you guys live was at Doom or Be Doomed, and that was awesome. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> From the days that I saw you in the basement <laughs> um, at the old original Geno's, and um, being up front and being a part of everyone who knows all the words <laughs> with their foot on the stage, you know, pumping their fists.